making MT in 2K17 is actually fairly easy, really in any 2K, but before we get into this video, leave a like and subscribe, I'm going to be posting a lot of my team content this year, I'm good at the game, you know, really I don't want to lose a game this season, that's how good, you know, and prepared I am, so really came close in that last, you know, domination game, but we're not going to go there, that was r too close, but um, yeah, let's get right into it, so, you know, you know, we're basically looking at ways of not, you know, spending money to get good, which obviously if you spend money, that's the best way. Uh, but, you know, you don't need to. I mean, you get into domination, get into challenges, you know, online, make some MT and open some packs. And um, I love games that have good packs and fair packs. So, you know, you go to, you know, buy packs. You can just open single packs. You see 3,500, you know, MT, and you pull a lot of sapphires and emeralds in these packs. So that's really, right now, that's really good MT. So say if I pull a pack for 3,500, um, I recommend boxes. Can you open them with MT? You cannot, which is kind of, you should be able to, but you can't. Boxes, I don't know how normal p packs are. So, you know, you go to the auction house, you go to search auction, and then look at, you know, Let's look at some, you know, emeralds, and then we'll get into sapphires, so. 3,500, if you pull one of these, and it's not like these are really rare cards, you can get, you'll, if you open a box, you'll get probably most likely one emerald. I actually might go pick up James Harden, because he's my favorite player, now that I think of it, I have enough MT. So, you know, re really, you know, you can try to snipe some of these, but you probably, it's probably going to be really hard, everyone's probably doing that, so. Do you see one card, you know, under 6,000, or I guess it would be 7,000? I don't, do you? Right? Oh, there's a couple. All right, so those are the ones, you know, that are not good, but not in real life, but in the terms of price. So you're doubling your stubs by pulling one of these. So, you know, and you can get on a streak where you just pull, you know, three of these out of ten, and you just keep going, and that is insane stubs. Or st <laughs> stubs, my bad. I'm talking about MT. So used to MLB the show. That's the game is so easy to make, to make stubs in, but yeah. So let's go look at James Harden. I might actually pick him up. So, Emerald, let's go current position shooting guard, Team Houston Rockets. And I can filter this. I can do minimum, and then I'll do, like, I wouldn't pay more than 10K. Hopefully, I don't want to. I sh Maybe I wouldn't. Maybe I w don't want to. Okay. And, you know, there's one for 9,500. Look at his stats before I spend that amount. You know, make sure I like him. You see, yeah, I see his contested threes in 81. His open 374. His open mid range is 79. Off dribble shooting mid range 74. These Kobe stats are just ridiculous. Oh my god. Um, his speed, quickness 58. You know, pass perception, defense obviously it won't be that good. Defense because he's 48. Off ball defense 54. So, you know, looking at this, you know, I don't want this card. I mean, yeah, I like James Harden, but I'm not going to drop, you know, 10K on that card when I can just wait a couple of days for his price to go down. I don't need him. Uh, so, yeah, that's just an example. That's number one. Um, I think, in my opinion, besides using the auction house, because that's hard to do. That's not a beginner tip. I know a lot of people say it is, but it's really not. You got to know what you're doing and be advanced to do that. So, the in terms of actually getting, you know, MT... Now that I call it stubs, I want to say stubs, is playing the game itself, playing domination, because not only do you get a thousand, you know, MT per game, you get a actually three packs, and then you get a guaranteed player, silver, or higher. So, you know, some of silvers in this game are going for two, you know, two thousand MT or more. So, you know, that's three thousand, you know, three thousand five hundred MT a game if you're you know, so that is really good. That adds up, you know, that twenty K is from playing domination. So I still have twelve unopened packs. So yeah, that's it. Um, any other methods? Let me take a look. I don't think so. I haven't really discovered any. Um, oh yeah, of course, collector levels. So keep in mind, I'm gonna say it one more time. I've said it a couple times, but yeah, if you do a collection, so let me give an example. So if you do the 76ers Steve Mix and you sell Ben Simmons, you know, to get a lot of MT or maybe a couple thousand, I don't know how much he goes for. But then that Steam mix is going to go down in overall. So I kind of like that because you could just complete collections and sell them. That's so overpowered. I like how they did that. They finally did that. It's been around for a couple of years. But Lenny Wilkins, much like an MLB show. <laughs> so, yeah, collections. The only one I would recommend doing on this list in terms, you know, if you're starting off and you're like me and you don't have a lot, you know, you're not really going to spend that much money or you don't have MT that much. You know, the magic one, I almost did this. I collected maybe like four or five, and then I was like, hold on a minute. You know, I could just save my um, MT, and then Grant Hill, I don't really have a use for him. He's just a cool card. He finally 
got put in the game. So Jeremiah Williams is a co collection that I would definitely do because his quickness and he can shoot too. You know, this collection actually does look pretty cheap. So yeah, definitely get this Jeremiah Williams collection done. It is definitely worth it. Jeremy Lin, you know, 72. Well, I mean, he's still going to be decent for a new team. Um, this one might be good. Pe uh, Peja Stokovic. He can shoot, I'm pretty sure, like really well. So, Doug Christie, Knicks, Aaron Brooks, pretty cool. Avery Johnson. And I wanted to do the Warriors collection so bad. I already had Durant. So, I figured why not. But it's like each of these guys are like 10000 or higher. So, and Steph Curry is just ridiculously expensive. I can actually pick him up if I wanted to. But, you know, I'm just going to wait. You know, it would be really cool to get him. You know, have that 90 everything pretty much shooting three. And then his mid-range 85. That would be sick. And then put that with the Clay Thompson. But, you know, that's expensive. And I'd rather just save my MT, you know, get 100K and then decide where I'm doing from there. So, yeah, leave a like. Subscribe to my channel. Like I said, I'm going to be posting a lot of my team content. I do everything in 2K, you know. So, I actually might do a my league later. But, yeah. So, yeah. Um, for the guys that subscribe to me and that will subscribe to me after this video, I just want to preach, you know, I say thank you. I appreciate it a lot. Hopefully, we can get some giveaways going soon. I'd love to give you guys some VC to help you torture my team because, you know, I'm here to help you guys, you know. So, the number one, you know, I just love, you know, helping people. I love, you know, just like the satisfaction of them saying you like, you know, thank you and just, you know, giving back to the community. So, yeah, you know, I'm looking forward to growing this year, you know, as a YouTuber and a person. You know, this YouTube's a lot of fun and. Yeah, it's really looking forward to it. It's going to be a great year. 2K17 is a really good game. You know, they've done a lot of stuff, and I appreciate it because, you know, there's not really much competition out there. NBA Live dying down has been for years. Um, no game has, you know, really stepped up. So 2K still continues to dominate the sports market. You know, obviously FIFA and Madden are up there. Especially FIFA, that game is, like, ridiculous. But, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thanks for watching.